take a look around. There are no towns or cities in this area. This area, we say, is very sparsely populated. In fact, I can't see any dwellings except for a ranch way over that way, maybe 10 miles or 15 kilometers distant. Nothing out on any of the other horizons. Why is that? Well, certain areas on the planet are very densely settled, and certain areas are very sparsely settled. This area of central Wyoming is very sparsely settled. We say the population density is low. Why is that? Well, certain areas have amenities that people want. Jobs, climate, maybe it's where their ancestors settled. Maybe they like it there for some other reason. Certain areas on the planet have changed in terms of population density over the years. So think about New York City, 1900, right? The population density there was very high. Okay, think about the population density in New York City. information system. So we can see patterns of population density as it is today and as it was in the past. We can see change over time. Right? The Earth is a dynamic planet. One of the most dynamic parts of the Earth are people. People move, they, they change in terms of their age, uh, in terms of the median age, they migrate, they internationally migrate. So uh, think about thousands of years ago. The first urban centers uh, really became possible because the surrounding local area could support that city or town in terms of food production. And this is the days before interstate trucking and before uh, railroads and international shipping. Nowadays, you still have a surrounding area that can support uh, that city. There's also uh, food coming in from all over. where uh, you've got uh, an urban area in the middle of a place where, you know, 150 years ago, they couldn't have supported that kind of 